Just two days after launching the National Health Plan 2021 to 2030, the National Department of Health released a circular ordering all retail pharmacies to close down the nest stations it operates within the premises of the pharmacies. This is the circular released by the Health Secretary and Chairman of the Pharmacy Board, Dr. Osborne Liko, on the 10th of December 2021. It says the Pharmacy Board of PNG through the National Department of Health hereby informs the management of all retail pharmacy outlets in PNG that operations of medical clinics or nurse stations within the vicinity or the same premises as the retail pharmacy is unlawful and a contravention of the Medical and Cosmetics Act 1999. The circular cited breaches of Section 13.1c and Section 27.1c of the Medicines and Cosmetics Act 1999, where the license holder has failed to comply with the conditions of the pharmacy license. Section 13.1c states, The licensing authority may by written notice serve the holder of a license, cancel or suspend a license where the holder fails to comply with the conditions of his license. Section 27.1c states, a licensing authority may by written notice on the holder of a pharmacy license, cancel or suspend the pharmacy license where the license holder fails to comply with the conditions of his pharmacy license. The pharmacies were given 14 days to shut down or abolish the nest stations. The news did not go down well with those who were visiting the clinics. <laughs> Because all public housing can need to have security, put them plenty rooms. Now COVID all you see, excuse me, COVID, COVID, plenty rooms. Now I'm not treating me online, I got legal like sick, where I'm not playing like she treating and carry up here. I'm not right there. I'm not going to say now, I'm going to go to the hospital, I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Health department must provide a good class service for people who block up when they need. Especially in the city, this is how our population is going to be blocked. Plantistan or settlement, planting the plan of work. Sometimes there's a wait, wait. It's a kind of simple, all the streets are written in parcel. Talk to me about the whole city of Masio, it's a kind of some Russian or something. I'm going to see the area, I'm going to see some bus, I'm going to see some service. This is at the main hospitals. Yeah, it's too slow sometimes. And sometimes, you know, we really need the medication pass. So that's the reason why we come here. It's much easier for us rather than going in and with the restriction as well with uh, COVID, you have to get COVID clearance again and stuff like that. Whereas for city pharmacy and here, it's more convenient, like you just walk in and you got the help that you need. And at the same time, when you get prescribed with medicine, you get supplied as well at the same time. So with the public hospital, that doesn't happen. You go, they prescribe the medicine because there's no medicine. Then you have to run off again to pharmacies. Everywhere where there's a station, the nurses are very helpful. They check us properly and then they give us a medication. Um, if they, they are able to treat us, then they refer us to another doctor or to the private hospital, especially with diabetes and all these things. I don't think they should close it down because it helps family. Like in the busy schedule, like for busy people who can go to the general hospitals. This makes it easy for us to come in and get treatment, like first and treatment, and then get medicine at the same time. So this is also a good option for, um, for families and for public. Some took to social media as well, expressing their disappointment. The Director, Institute of National Affairs, Paul Barker, saying the nest stations are widely used because they are accessible and queues are shorter. They should be regulated, but certainly not closed. Even the governor for East Sipic, Alan Bird, called on the department to address the legal issues and reopen the pharmacies. I think the nursing stations have, have worked really well for people who don't have the money or the time to sit at uh, the main hospitals for a long time waiting for service. Um, but more than that, you know, whatever the issues that NDOH has with them, the fact that they've been operating for a while is really an indication that uh, people find the service useful. So what they should have done was, you know, if there's a compliance issue uh, or if they need to improve the standards of uh, the service, then I think NDOH should have uh, 
just gone ahead and made sure that you know they set the standards and uh, request that the the pharmacies uh, meet those standards. There was really no need to to just cancel them just like that. Uh, we may have an argument that uh, you know the the service is not up to standard, but then you know there are many areas of the health uh, provision that we have in the country that is not up to service, uh, not up to standards. While the public felt that the nest stations need to remain open, medical professionals and those who do private practice understood Dr. Liko. Dr. Ludwig Nanawar in a social media post said the health department is right, but there is sympathy for the masses who access these nest stations, which provide fast, efficient and cheaper option than larger health facilities. He added that the way forward without doing away with them would be to have them registered with the Medical Board of Papua New Guinea as a private aid post meeting basic requirements prescribed in the National Health Service standards. While many private hospitals and clinics have paid separate fees to obtain a practicing license through the Medical Registration Act 1980, retail pharmacies had only paid for one license, the license to operate a retail pharmacy. Dr. Liko explains that if retail pharmacy wants to operate a clinic or nest station, they need to have a separate license for that as well. He is also concerned that some nurses are not properly diagnosing patients and prescribing medicines that should only be prescribed by a medical practitioner or a doctor, which over time could be dangerous. In PNG, the largest retail pharmacy is the City Pharmacy Group, which in recent years got listed on the PNG Stock Exchange. It began its operations in 1987. It has its presence in almost all towns in PNG, becoming a trusted household brand. In light of the recent circular, founder of CPL Group Mahesh Patel says the law is not very clear. We're waiting to engage uh, with the secretary. Um, we've uh, put it out and uh, we want to engage with the medical board. And I think the only solution is for us, because there's so much uh, lack of clarity in the act, um, we have taken legal advice and we'll be writing to the department um, because um, the clarity is not there. The only way to solve this is for all the stakeholders to sit in one room, the medical board, the pharmacy board, if need be, the nursing association, or whoever is involved sit in the one room and find a solution as a way forward. Find the process to say, I have got legal advice, we've not broken any rules. So that's an absolute uh, fact of law. Um, but you know, we don't want to go down the path of legal challenge. All we're doing is paying legal fees unnecessarily. It's a matter of just common sense approach. Let's sit down, work out what the process is, what are the do's and don'ts, and follow, you know, follow through. While CPL has spoken about its position, there are other pharmacies that also operate nest stations and most have recently set up business, offering many options for Papua New Guineans and at an affordable price. It seems the move by Dr. Liko is to correct past mistakes or correct what should have been done two decades ago if consistent monitoring, evaluation and compliance were upheld by the responsible authorities. While discussions are pending with the regulators, Papua New Guineans hope both the pharmacies and the National Department of Health come up with solutions that will benefit ordinary Papua New Guineans and enables all to achieve the recently launched National Health Plan 2021 to 2030, which emphasizes a crucial theme, leaving no one behind, accessing affordable and quality medicine is everybody's business. New plan seeks to deliver a system for everyone, leaving no one behind. The team taken from universal health coverage. And focusing on our key challenges and building on our preparedness for what we don't know is coming. It is built on these key principles. People-centered care. Services that are focused on people families, environment, and culture that are comprehensive, accessible, community-based, that meet, that meet health needs of people throughout their life, of course, and this, through this national health plan. But I summarize the plan in, into this. A quality health system and facility must be within reach by one hour of walking, or one hour of driving, or one hour of boat, or one hour of Medivac in our country. 
We're dealing with our people's life and we want to save our people's life as we work the health system going forward.